Hi, my new podcast, My First Time, launches tomorrow, and here's a little sneak peek. My first time. My first time. The other first time. My first time. This is actually another first. The first time. The first time. The first time. I yeah, my first time. My first time. And what about when adults employ Yes, this? this is very interesting. I'm seeing a lot going on, but I saw this video. It is important. We take an exclusive look into what is going on. Trans actor Tommy Duffman harasses Delta Airline employees over misgendering. I have a couple of videos I'm going to play so you will see exactly what I'm talking about. A data ticket agent in the New York area went viral on Tuesday after refusing to put up with accusation that his intentionally misgender a male passenger, it is been revealed that the male voice belongs to trans actor Tommy Duffman, who harassed the data airline employees of a misgendering. I don't get the point here. When you try to advocate for yourself at Delta and are met with even more transphobia and threats of being arrested at LaGuardia. Tristan, the employee, said he was fine with me posting this, didn't realize it was condescending to flag a human rights violation after another employee misgendered me incessantly. Okay, so this person is trying to out Tristan. I'm assuming Tristan is one of the individuals in this video right here. Yes, before we go into this video, let me say this. How can you identify that this person is pronounced like this, like that? I want you to know, because maybe this ticket agent saw on the document that you should be referred like this, and the person was just pulling what they saw. Now, I don't know why the outbursts, you know, you have to post this on social media. You know, I understand. Some of these people actually want to go viral, but this should not be this way. Okay, put up something on your chest that shows this is how you should be pronounced. I believe by so doing, it might solve some of this issue. It is difficult for you to just move on the street, you know, see someone, you know, just conclude that this person is pronounced like this. But I don't take a look at this video. And what about when adults employ misgenders I'm you so intentionally? Sorry, while, while, she's talk, while he's talking, you're talking. You just misgendered me again. Okay. Multiple times. Gotcha. Both of you have. Sorry. Wasn't intentional, but if you yeah. want to take it personal, that's also. Well, okay. she did do it intentionally twice. Gotcha. You're talking to me too. You said she, and then you said he. You're being condescending, and if you want to continue, Ooh. I have full authority escort you out the building right this moment if you want to play that game with me. Okay. So would you like to continue three days before Christmas? I really don't mind. I'm good. I'll just put this on. Yes, it takes you nothing to be polite. When you look at these trans activists, the way they are sounding here, you are not polite. Follow the instruction they have given you. Not go into a change of word. You will not force people, you know, to actually digest some of this issue if they don't want to. I don't get the point why you have to be behaving this way. Until it's leading to a level, they have to call in the security, you know, to come in. I understand social media is actually working this way. If you don't do certain kind of things to videotape, it will be difficult for people to actually know you. It gives a lot of views. Reason, if this video didn't go viral, I would not even know that this person exists. But it's still not the right procedure to do this. Look for real issue and talk about you can still go viral without doing this do my estrogen shot mm. estradiol two needles alcohol wipe very important to cap off i take half a milliliter once a week so i pull this halfway get it in pull it down Pulling a little bit extra just to be safe. This is life-saving, gender, mental health affirming care. I want to be really clear tonight, but not be fucking stabbing myself with a needle once a week if I didn't need to to survive. Smaller needle that this comes with. Put this on tight, tight, tight. Okay, it's looking 
good. Got out any air bubble. Yeah, I'm not able to put this in my butt because my body just doesn't work that way. All the way deep down into the muscle pull up, make sure I'm not blood. Yep, we're good. And we go off. Yes, I went through the comment section of this video on Twitter. I realized some people were still not believing that this is a trans activist. This is another video where he put out, you know, educating people, you know, how to put in or surgeon, you know, things like that. You can see clearly, you know, it's because on the other clip, putting on a pullover, so it was difficult for people to actually see. So you can see exactly what they are doing on social media. Like I usually say, I don't have a problem, you know, feel free to do whatever thing you want. When you are a grown-up person, you know left and right, so it is important for you to take your decisions wisely. I don't go after any person for taking decision to be who they want. My problem usually comes in when this outburst, you know, happen on social media spaces or bringing in children into some of these issues. That is where I usually have problems. After refusing to put up with accusation that he's intentionally misgender a male passenger, it's been revealed that the male voice belongs to trans actor Tommy Doffman, who harassed the Theta Airline employees over misgendering him. Doffman posted a video to his TikTok in which he complained that the ticket agent was been intentionally insulting by not referring to him by female pronouns. This back word was apparently his obvious mildness. And what about when a data employee misgender you intentionally? Says Doveman made voice from behind the camera. The gate urgent continued to talk to the passenger he was already helping, saying while you are talking she is he is talking to you just misgender me again multiple times both of you have the dogman said sorry the female passenger or the gate agent was helping said it wasn't intentional the gate agent tells dogman but if you want to take it personal that is also you have been condensing the gate agent tells dogman and if you want to continue i will put Port Authority escort you out the building right this moment if you want to play that game with me. Which if you like to continue three days before Christmas, I really don't mind. I'm good. I will just put this on. Dogman says, though it is unclear what he referring to, perhaps a mask. 